Right, we're back. Sorry, folks. Come here, Miracle. We are back. I don't know what happened that time. We have been working away up here today, so uh, on the network, so I don't know whether that's got anything to do with it. If we get cut off again, we will retry tomorrow, but hopefully everything should go well. And this will be the last time. Thank you for bearing with us. Uh, you are all very patient. Probably more patience than me. Um, we've got someone wanting to say hello here. Little miracle. Little fat miracle. Don't tell her I said that. Um, oh, she's quite... Yeah. Thank you. Pulling my beard. Which is lovely. Uh, so, I was just saying on the stream there... Thank you for everyone tuning back in again, obviously. A bit frustrating today. Hopefully we won't go back off. Carol says, third, third try is a charm. It is, indeed, hopefully. I'm not going to move from this spot. Uh, Miracle's just going back into Hope because she's shouting for her. You can hear in the background. Um, let me know where you're watching from. Farmer Ben speaking. Let me know where you're watching from. What you're up to today. Um, I've managed to put the link in the description at the top so what I was saying just before we got cut off from the last stream was Dalscon supporters group so if you are a supporter you'll automatically be added into a private group which is the Dalscon supporters group and uh, I'm on that quite often uh, talking away with su the supporters we'll be doing a live Q&A uh, on for supporters only on Saturday uh, so if you have any questions and you're not a supporter, you can always um, sign up to that. Link's in the description. Everything's absolutely fine. It's run through Facebook. Uh, and you can chat with all the fellow supporters and the big fans. And uh, we'll be doing a live Q&A. So there'll be some exclusive content on there as well. We'll obviously be doing our usual streams. Um, thank you for the stars that are coming through, everyone. Very, very generous of you. We'll still be doing our usual streams, so don't worry. Uh, nothing will change that way we will just be uh, doing a few exclusive ones for supporters just to say thank you and give some exclusive content and benefits as well so donkeys are all doing great if you missed what I was saying on the last stream because we did get cut off a couple of times I think it might have been the phone call I did get a phone call in the middle of it and I think that cut it off um, Rio's pink coat come here Rio that's a girl so you'll see her pink chart everyone's been talking about the shade of pink um, that's on our coat. We had Dr. Hastings, our vet, round yesterday and he was having a look and he thinks that the pink shade that she's got is just some, just the kind of uh, colour of the grease or the oil that comes through in our coat because our coat is quite oily. So we're going to give her a try, a little bit of donkey shampoo and a little scrub and see if that works. Uh, see if there's any red or if the water's red that's starting to come off her and see if we can basically just wash it off so it's almost like a dog you'll maybe see dogs sometimes like where they lick their mouth or where their eyes are uh, where their eyes have been running there's a little red tinge comes off there uh, so it could be exactly the same as that don't know why it's happened yet um, he has been asking around a few uh, donkey owners that he knows and I think he's maybe going to call the donkey sanctuary and see what they're thinking Um so yeah, I think that's where we stand with it just now. We're going to try and give her a good wash and see if that comes off. It's not doing any harm to her whatsoever, but it's just interesting to see what it actually is because we've never seen that before. He's never seen that before. Um, so yeah, it'll kind of clear up a little bit of a mystery. Um, so thank you everyone for your kind wishes yesterday. We're blown away by the response. I know I've said this on a previous stream, but there's a lot of new viewers tuning in here. Uh, the response to the stream yesterday on Penny's stream uh, letting everyone know that unfortunately we lost Penny on the 29th of December if you didn't know, you might be hearing that for the first time uh, it was a difficult stream yesterday uh, it's been so well received so um, everyone's been so nice sending their well wishes and likes I think there's about 2,500 comments and about 55,000 views in the video which is incredible so um, yeah, we do appreciate it um, we appreciate all the messages that have been coming through hello Eeyore you're saying thank you as well, aren't you? Uh, I'm going to try and come down to the meerkats later on um, before it gets dark. A few mealworms. Hopefully we don't get cut off because I don't know what's going on with the, the network today. 
Uh, but like I say, in the description of the stream, there is the link to the Dalscon supporters group. So if you become a Dalscon supporter, you get exclusive access into the Dalscon supporters group. We're doing a live Q and A on Saturday, uh, and there'll be a few more little um, exclusive content, etc., for supporters. If you don't, if you can't support us, don't worry whatsoever. It's just great to have you along with the stream. Um, you're being cry. Uh, Carol says, "Cried with you guys. We all love our fur babies." Thank you, Carol. Uh, I've seen quite a few people saying that as well. So I think everyone found it quite emotional watching it. Um, yeah, just having you watching along the stream is absolutely fantastic. We appreciate everyone that watches. I'm going to go down to the meerkat run and see if Farmer Connor has any mealworms. See, can you bring some mealworms to the meerkats? Any questions, folks, send them through. I'm going to try and get to a few of them whilst I'm on stream today. Um, normally streaming times at the, at the minute are Tuesday and Saturday. Uh, go through the gate. So if I don't get to them, I'll maybe see you on the Q&A for supporters only on Saturday. If not, I will be on stream to the general public on Saturday as well. So um, Loads going on. Rio's like, where are you heading off to? Not done with your treats, thank you. I seen last thing before I go actually. Twitch cam is back up and going, so if you have missed it, don't worry, it's back. Uh, we had some network issues. There was no Wi-Fi coming up here, but we got that resolved. Gav was out today, got it fixed, so no problems there now. It's uh, streaming live on Twitch. I'm sure one of our Twitch watchers could send the link into the the comment section. Let me see. Let's see if they're out and about today. They are cold. They're not a big fan of the cold by any means. Oh, here we go. They hear me whistle. Every time I come by looking for them, um, I give them a little whistle and they normally come running out to see what I've got for them. Hello, guys. You okay? If you're watching the stream just now, I know there's over 500 people on it at the minute, so thank you for tuning in. If you could give a little like and a share on the stream, that would be amazing. It helps us grow. Let's Facebook, when it sees people interacting and commenting and liking and sharing, it pushes it out to more people and expands the stream, and we want to reach as many of you as we can. Um, so if you could do that, it'd be much appreciated. I'm going to try and get through a few of these comments. Laverne's saying Lucy is such a beautiful dog. Yes, she is. So we have one golden retriever. We had two golden retrievers, Penny obviously being the other one. So Lucy's um, who we have left. She's 10 and a half. I had her a walk last night. She's not walking very fast. She likes to take her, uh, take it easy. She's quite lazy now, actually. Um, but yeah, she's a lady of leisure now, shall we say. Uh, Helen Milne says, glad to hear stream back on. I've missed it. Yep, it is good to have Twitch back on. Um, Jane sent 50 stars, thank you so much. Anne has put on Twitch TV. She's actually pinned the comment as well, so that's the link to the donkey cam. You can watch the donkeys 24-7 uh, if you'd like to do that as well. So thank you, Anne, for doing that for us. She's always uh, quick with her comments for the Twitch link. Um, Jan has sent 200 stars and Tina sent 200 stars, so thank you for that. Claire sent 50 stars. Uh, thank you so much. Stephanie says, I'll check in on Twitch again, so I think a few people had been uh, had been waiting for it to come back on. So here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. This is the big moment for the meerkats, their favourite thing in the world. So they might have a little uh, tiff here. Might have a little fight over these, because they do tend to do that. But they can seriously hoover up some mealworms. They love them. And they're really good for them as well. All the natural goodness that they get out of them. Um, it's their absolute favourite. So we're hoping to have some babies again this year. Uh, we weren't successful last year. The year before we had one. Uh, the year before that we had four. So we're hoping for another four this year. Expand the pack. Expand the family. Uh, we're actually, to take extra measures, we their shed which is here is getting expanded so we're going to have a brick built shed it's going to have some insulation in it a little dark area for them to go and have their babies it's going to have a heated area where they can go and get cuddled up we'll put some little beds in there some straw in there um, and it will be a 
palatial environment for them to live. One thing that we do have to watch the meerkats that we've been keeping a close eye on is they're getting quite fat. In fact, they're getting very fat. And Mr. Meerkat here... Is that Mr. Meerkat, see? No, Mr. Meerkat's just over there. Not long so, this is Mr. Meerkat here. Connor can tell all the meerkats apart just by the look of their face. It's quite amazing. He's working with them all the time. Uh, now, he is the fattest. It's hard to tell from the stream, but he is so chunky. Um, so, they're obviously being quite lazy under their heat lamp. They've got a heat lamp in here. Uh, they're being quite lazy at this time of year, so he's obviously just eating loads and doing very little. Uh, and it's reflected in his waistline, so I don't think he's going to sit fit into a 32-inch set of jeans anymore. 32-waist uh, set of jeans. Um, but we'll get that off him, won't we? In the summer, when they get, come a little more active, uh, they start digging and moving things about. He'll probably lose some of that weight, but he's just he's living his best life at the minute. Uh, Carol says we're coming to Dumfries next month. Will you be open for visitors? The animals aren't Carol. It's only the soft play area that's, that will be open. So you're more than welcome to come and visit the, the soft play area, the toy shop. Um, and yeah, you, you can come and see that. No problem. You can come see the farm shop, toy shop and soft play. But the outdoor area is not open just due to the weather. Um Tamara says, let's call it pandemic weight gain. Yeah, I think you, I think we can safely say that for Mr. Meerkat. So if you don't know the story on Mr. Meerkat, Mr. Meerkat, when he was younger, he's the boss man of the pack now. Is this him in the bowl, see? No, it's all right here. <laughs> so I keep losing. Now they, all, they look the same to me as they do to you. They all look the same. Uh, but Connor can tell them all apart. So Mr. Meerkat, when he was younger, was actually bullied by the alpha male that we had at the time. And he beat him up really badly. He needed antibiotics. He had lost some of his toenails and he had really sore hands as well. So his feet were all swollen up and so were his hands. So he actually stayed in the workshop with Farmer Connor, um, where Farmer Connor's staff room is. He stayed in there for, what would it be, about four months he was yeah, in there? Like yeah, basically all winter while well, we gave him antibiotics, got him built back up and reintroduced him into the pack. It's very, very difficult to reintroduce meerkats into the pack once they're out, but we managed with Mr. Meerkat, and he's actually turned the tables and is the alpha male now, so that's who breeds with our female. Where is mum? This is testing. So that's, this is mum that's looking at Connor. Uh, so there's only one female breeds out of the pack, one male and one female breed. Everything else uh, gives them a hand, basically, so they all look after the babies once they're born. Um, so, yeah, there's a quite a lot of development going on at the minute in the meerkat run. Uh, but, to be honest, it's the best time of year to do it because they don't notice they're normally under their heat lamp or they're getting fed. Um, they've actually mucked up a bit of chicken, which is down here. So that's their chicken wings that they've got there. Uh, they get raw chicken wings and it is sitting quite filthy on the floor. Uh, not that they normally mind. They've also turned over their veg, which is here. So they've made a bit of a mess today. Um, Another favourite for the meerkats, if you've never tuned in to us before, is some day-old chicks. So the chicks aren't alive, don't worry. Oh, bless me. Oh, bless me. Sorry about that. So the day-old chicks uh, are frozen. That's what they're hatched for, for animal feeds. And the day-old chicks are really, really good for them. The fur helps naturally deworm them. So the, the, if they do get worms... Uh, which any animal can pick up from anywhere really natural environments the the worms can get stuck to the fur and they obviously pass them out the other end so it is a fantastic thing for them to get thank you for all the comments coming through folks if you have any questions do keep sending them through i'm trying to get through them whilst i'm talking um let's see what have we got debbie says the meerkats are adorable they are they're one of the most popular things and they just love Farmer Connor. They're one of the most popular things that we've got at Elscon. And someone mentioned Farmer Connor's tattoo on his leg. He does have a tattoo of th this very meerkat clan on his leg. So he is their dad. Look at them. They just love him to pieces. Trying to get in the welly. They're trying to get in his welly at, at the moment. Um, Michelle says, who painted the little meerkats on the barn house? We have a resident artist, the very talented Millie comes in and does all our murals and all our design work so he is he is awesome very very talented uh, 
Traces, that one's not wanting to share. Yeah, that's probably Mr. Meerkat. He wouldn't be too fussed on sharing his food. He doesn't like to do that. Denise has got Meerkat ornaments. Um, and they're very popular, aren't they? I think, I don't know if some of you are watching from overseas, but there's a lot of you watching from uh, Britain. Compare the market advert, I think, kind of exploded the popularity of Meerkats. Uh, so they're all, um, everyone kind of imagines compare the meerkat advert if you know what i'm talking about let me know in the comments uh, <clears throat> why do the meerkat so i just lost that comment where did it go let's see why do the meerkats scurry around so much so that's it they're just constantly curious all the time uh, so they want to know what's going on they love to investigate they love to dig they're looking for little beetles and worms and insects uh, they love to make burrows so that's what they do all the time they're just constantly in their pen just let's see that see him down here is just constantly digging and scratching and seeing what's going on and they need to do that as well because their nails get too long so that keeps them down as well um so yeah we're hoping for a nice litter this year so keep your fingers crossed for us um laverne says what is the lifespan of a meerkat what is the lifespan of a meerkat see so in the wild it's like 10 years 10 years in the wild okay. connor says up to 16 years in captivity, which I didn't even know that. So that uh, that's a lot longer is what I would ever have said. So there we go. There's a good bit of knowledge. Hi, Geraldine sent us 50 stars. Thank you so much. And Kim sent us 200 stars. Thank you for that. Shell says, can we see the tattoo? Maybe another time when it's a bit warmer and he's got his shorts on. <laughs> he's got his, his fully overalled up and got all his work stuff on, so it won't be the easiest. Yeah, they did make a good job of it, though, did see, didn't they? Yeah, they made a good job of it. Uh, do the animals seem at all confused by this unusually mild winter? They're not normally too fussed. To them, it's still freezing cold. Um, so they're not too bothered on it. Susan says, do they let you cuddle them? They don't really. They're not too keen on that. They'll come up and they'll cl climb all over your hands and um, all over your legs and everything, but they don't really like us trying to touch them. So we just let them do their thing. Uh, as you see Farmer Connor doing, if they want to come and investigate, then they can do, but uh, we don't kind of get involved and start trying to pick them up if they don't like it Karen says Ben are you allergic to any of the animals to be honest Karen most of them 99% of them but we just have to get on with it sorry about my dodgy camera skills I'm going through comments here as well uh, Angie says love these guys they're so comical can't wait to see some babies the babies are the cutest little things that you'll ever see in your life and they when they come out mum carries them about by the back of their neck just like a cat does kind of but they are so tiny and they are just adorable they are lovely so i'd love to have some again this year um susan says she watches the advert all the time yeah it's on tv all the time compared to the market um shell says they love connor they do donna says do people keep them for pets they do they're not supposed to uh, they do keep them for pets and they can be domesticated so they can come really really tame and you can handle them uh, ours when they arrived we got adults we didn't get them as babies we got them as adults so when they arrived they weren't domesticated which is the reason for that uh, when we do have babies farmer connor does work away with them which is why they end up being as tame as what they are uh, but we don't tend to handle them um, it's just not uh, it's, it's actually we don't handle them because we don't need to, basically. We just leave them to do it. We've never given them to the public anyway, just in case there was a, a little incident. We don't want any teeth. want any of them bearing any teeth. Uh, so, do they all have names? I can't tell them apart. They mostly do. Uh, there is a lot of them that are very, very similar. But Farmer Connor's got all these little nicknames for them. Will they let you hold on to them? No, they won't, Judy. No, definitely not. Uh, you can do it. The easiest way to actually catch them because they occasionally escape because they can jump um, and they occasionally escape. The easiest way to catch them is by their tail. So you just lift them up by their tail and they can't get to you. Um, Kim has all the teddies from the Compare the Market. So Compare the Market done a lot of te a teddy run, I think. If you took out your insurance, so it's an insurance company. If you took out your insurance, you got a free... Uh, compare the market teddy and I, I presume you can buy them as well um, so the babies won't be when do the babies normally when are the babies normally born see usually just before summer they start coming out with their holes so, so probably about April time they're 
They're normally born around April time and you can tell because mum's belly gets hilariously large uh, and she normally sits up with her belly out. You can see her teats starting to extend that she's getting some milk as well uh, and then she disappears down a hole and she has them uh, down one of, her, one of her burrows and keeps them safe down there. Um, do they add anything to the farm or are they just a fun animal? So uh, the farm is a tourist attraction so it's Dalscon Farm Fun so we're a farm park as well. Uh, that's that's our day-to-day -day job so we have them for the tourists and for everyone to see for an attraction for the public uh, and they are extremely fun to have we love having them uh, there's 10 meerkats in total and their cut their claws are pretty sharp um, they never really scratch us to be honest but the uh, their claws are sharp, yeah, because they do so much digging, so they need them to be pretty sharp, I guess, to try and get through the, the tough bits of mud and uh, and soil, etc., and move some stones out of the way as well. They're forever shifting stones. In fact, the amount of the amount of soil that they can actually get through is incredible. Uh, thank you for the stars, everyone that's coming through. There's loads of stars. Uh, again, in the co in the title of the stream, uh, the supporters tag is in there. Uh, we're doing a live Q and A for the supporters on Saturday uh, you'll get invited into a supporters group uh, where you'll get exclusive content etc so it is going to be um, it is worthwhile doing uh, Jane says how many per litter so there's normally the most we've had is four I think they can have litters up to six is that right to see up, up to eight I wouldn't want them to have eight I don't think you would have all eight survive it's just too many for them to look after but I think four is the, four's the average um, depends on the conditions when they're born as well if she chooses to have them on a wet day and the burrow can get wet then that's an issue uh, which is why we're building their new shed so that'll eliminate that issue um, and give them the best chance possible of bringing out some little characters uh, <clears throat> how do you see Kate on the babies once they're born don't know what that one is Terry sorry if you send that one back um, unsure on that one we are going to end up losing light shortly it's okay just now but the nights are stretching thank god i love the, i love the light nights um susan says there seems to be more than 10 running around yeah it does look like that but it's just because they're so busy all the time so this wee one that's over here was born with us i know she was born with us because when she was younger she broke her tail so you can see her tails kind of is a uh, kind of squint at the bottom of her back and it's kind of limp as well so she broke her tail when she was just tiny uh, she gets on absolutely fine, but she just looks a little bit weird. Um, but as you can see, her jumping up there. So that's her heading up the ramps right at the front. Um, and we've got a lookout on the top there as well. So tomorrow, big day for us tomorrow. We're leaving at five o'clock in the morning. Myself, Farmer Connor, Farmer Joe, and our resident builder, Hair Bear. Uh, he's got massive afro, that's why we call him Hair Bear. We're leaving at five in the morning. We're going to get a new piece of equipment for the farm park, uh, which everyone I'm sure is going to absolutely love we'll do a little uh, a little blog whilst we're away uh, hair is pretty good on the camera so he'll be doing a bit of filming on, on what we're up to it'll give you an idea of where we are we're going about two and a half hours away we're going to Skipton um, and we're going to take down a pretty impressive new play structure uh, and I'm pretty sure everyone's going to love it oh CK is checked sorry Lisa how do you check the younger ones when you're born? That's the difficult part. So this was that was a comment I was trying to address there. So once the babies are born down their hole eh, or down their burrow, it's impossible to check them because you don't know where they've had it. You, in their other pen that we've just moved, they had loads of different burrows all interconnected like a rabbit warren. So you didn't know whereabouts the babies were located and you can't dig for them because obviously if there's a cave in, uh, I'll go on top of the babies so you just have to leave them you can't check them when they're born which makes things really really difficult uh, and you rely solely on mum and you know uh, with when animals are born you'll know from watching the streams how difficult it is um, when they're just born you need, to, you need to be keeping an eye on them make sure they're warm enough make sure they're not lying in cold or wet or um, so this is what we're adjusting to make a more successful breeding program for them uh, we did have several successful years, but the last last year wasn't just as successful, so we don't know what happened there. So we're just going to take some extra measures. So that is the problem. You can't check them. Uh, you cannot check them when they're born because they're down a hole. So, yeah, difficult. It makes it very, very difficult. 
Uh, thanks for all the reactions coming in the stream. It really helps us. If you could like or share the stream, make sure you follow the Dalscon page as well, and you'll be you should be notified. There's a little bell button when you follow us. That'll notify you when we're going live as well, so you won't miss any live streams. Um, Anne sent 200 stars. Thank you, Anne. Lindsay Skipton's a lovely place. I've never been before. Uh, I have never been, but I'm looking forward to going tomorrow. We're leaving at 5 in the morning, so it's going to be a long day. Uh, Cigna's saying House Farm Alice. She's doing great. Uh, she was round at my house for tea last night, so she's doing fantastic. Jan says she lives near Skipton. Well, we're coming your way, Jan. Um, so, yeah, we're going to... We will be back on live on Saturday. The guy, the meerkats have actually went back inside their house. They're wanting to get a wee bit of heat. Uh, they're, n <laughs> they're not liking it too much today. Uh, so we'll be back on live on Saturday. We'll be bathing, bathing the tortoises on Saturday, see? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll bath the tortoises on Saturday. Uh, there'll be loads going on since then. We'll give you a little update on the blog and how we got on tomorrow. Um, so wish us luck. Wish us a safe journey. Thank you for commenting and sharing the stream. Make sure you follow the page. And if you can become a subscriber for all exclusive content, do that as well. That would be amazing. You're awesome for sending all your stars and supporting the stream. We really, really uh, appreciate it more than you know. Um, and we will see you on Saturday. And I'll speak to you in the supporters group if you're in there over the next few days as well. So from Farmer Connor and Farmer Ben, we will see you at the weekend and wish us safe journeys tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll put a little blog on tomorrow night. See you then.